Hi friends, welcome to DIYs with Nosh. We've got this cookie container and we're going to give it a makeover today. Let's begin. I'm going to add uh, one part glue, white glue, with one part of water. And uh, we're going to add that mixture on our container. Eventually I'll be adding maybe one or two coats of paint. And what I've noticed is sometimes after the first coat, if you want to apply the second one, sometimes the paint kind of peels off. So just to ensure that that, that uh, situation does not happen, I'm applying this uh, glue. Having done that, once it dries, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree beads. These are self-adhesive, so that's great as well. And I'm going to add them towards the edge of upper edge of the container this will give it a nice dimension as well i think i used four of those strips now once i do that i'm going to start um, making my paint for that i've add, added some acrylic paint um, a little bit of chalk paint and a little bit of tan acrylic paint as well. You could say that the ratio is one is to one is to one. Now I've also just so that I have a little bit of um, a little bit of texture I'm going to add a little bit of uh, baking powder as well. And then I'm going to add the uh, apply the entire thing and give it one coat. You know, although initially I decided to do two coats, but uh, I was quite happy with this first coat itself. And I decided I didn't want to kind of do a second one. It was thick enough and the coverage was really good as well. So I decided that was that. this paper which we are going to cut and place here but if, before that I'm just going to prepare it with some stain. I'm going to decoupage this um, long strip of pink pattern paper but uh, I didn't want it to be the regular uh, straight line I wanted it to have these uh, rough edges so I'm tearing it with my fingers Now once I have two large um, strips to with torn edges, um, I'm just going to use some hot glue to adhere it to the uh, container. You know friends, upcycle DIYs are my favorite kind of projects. Reusing virtual trash to create something functional is so gratifying. So if you dig such projects, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. You know, I love to connect with my viewers, so drop a quick message in the comment section so that I know what you like. And even if you didn't like something, let me know about that as well. Now let's get back to the project.
You know, I'm quite happy with the shabby chic look. Looks perfect. But I think something is missing. I think it's the... I think I'm just going to kind of give it some feet. Yeah. I've got these beads, which I picked up from one of the thrift stores. I think for 99 cents. They were a dozen ninety-nine. Yeah. So I think I'm going to uh, hot glue this with some E6000 as well. For added... Uh, strength and that should be it i hope you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you could share it with your friends that would be even great thank you very much for visiting me today see you everyone bye bye